We're tracking the tropics. Tonight we're seeing a strengthening disturbance in the central Atlantic. It's not something to worry about now, but we do need to watch it. Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Craig Sensor. Craig? The new advisory is in, and there are just a few changes, uh, an indication that the uh, system is getting a little better organized. Remember, earlier we had potential tropical storm. Now we have a tropical depression, meaning that we have a closed circulation, so the wind's basically going around a center point. Wind's at 35 miles an hour, but it's moving along quickly to the west at 23, so zipping along here. That means it's going to reach the islands in just about 48 hours where tropical storm watches are now in effect. Here is the new future track and the yellow area tracks the area of the tropical storm conditions. Of course, that's what we care about being hit by tropical storm conditions. But there is the actual cone, the little white area there where the center is expected to be. This is the Friday morning time frame. Friday evening time frame, then going into Saturday evening now uh, in the Northern Caribbean here. And then here is our Sunday evening point as well as our Monday evening point of course, uh, pretty close to the keys there. But all in all, this is just basically something we're going to have to watch and watch closely. Nowhere along this track is the forecast for anything stronger than tropical storm uh, strength there. Here's the satellite loop for the evening. You can see kind of a blow up of thunderstorms there. The approximate center is located just to the west of those thunderstorms. Computer models tonight, they really haven't done a whole lot and they're probably not going to do a whole lot in the next few days. It's really not until we get into the Saturday time frame here that we should get a better idea of is this going to go to our east? Is it going to go to our west? Is it going to go just about over us? All these uh, routes basically take over some land which would likely uh, weaken uh, the system just a little bit. So still tonight, not expected to be a South Florida hurricane threat. Closest approach is Monday and Tuesday. And right now there's no preps. We're just going to keep monitoring as we go through the weekend. Back to you. Craig, thanks a lot.